out would be a bunch of lies about me. <laughs> if you only knew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I begin to tell you all about the Commander Terry Howard and all his accomplishments, there's one thing that, I need, that needs to be done. And as you all know, I'm going to be taking over as the commander. But before I take over as commander and take over your office, I have to ask, is there any ladies out there that might have a key to the commander's office? I have my son. Daniel, come collect these keys, please. If you've got a key, raise your hand and Daniel, come and get it. It must be an inside joke. It must be an inside joke. keys loose running around there. <laughs> okay, all kidding aside, Commander Terry Howard, through all your hard work, dedication, excuse me, through all your hard work, dedication, and determination, you put this post back on the map. You've achieved all state and then all American. It would be simpler for me to stand here and tell you what you haven't done than for me to stand here and tell you all your accomplishments. I'm sorry. When you look at your report card, it might be three things you didn't complete. That's it. Out of all the hundreds throughout the year. Our membership was probably one of your hardest tasks. I remember that it was your biggest obstacle, Terry. You said that we... You, you, our, Excuse me. We needed a large amount. Our post needed a large amount. And you made it one of your top goals. And you reached that goal. You've made it happen, sir. you made it 105%. Now we're all American. Not to mention the countless hours, all the expenses, the wear and tear on your own truck, your own vehicle, attending all the meetings, serving on all the committees. It's, it's not going to be easy to fill your journey. But I want you to know it was a great honor and, and a lot of pride to serve with you by your side as your senior vice commander. I've learned a lot from you. You're always there for me. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> You're always there for me or for any veteran in that case. Not only are you one of my great mentors, you're my friend, you're my comrade, you're my brother. So it's with great honor I present this plaque to you and a copy of the DVD you're watching tonight. Sorry, Cadets, come on out. Well, anyway, I'm going to sing a song to Terry, and, and, and I, like I said, I'm going to hope some of the cadets will help me out with this one. So if you all would please rise, I'm going to sing the Army song. Ready? First to fight for the right and to build a nation's might, and the Army goes rolling along. Proud of all we have done, fighting till the battle's won, and the army goes rolling along. Then it's high, high, hey, it's on its way. Come off the cadence loud and strong, two, three, four. Wherever we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. Commander, thank you for all you've done. Thank you, 
so much for coming tonight. A little bit of truth, a little bit of lies, except for the part about the keys, that was all the truth. <laughs> Mark Nix for chairing the House Committee, seeming never to have left that position for years. If I name Kathy Papson, if I name the girls that work here as the wait staff that take care of us so well, if I name the people that we don't always see in the kitchen, my point is, is everybody is a part of this team. Not just me, but all of us. And having a fellow like Lorenzo at your back, you don't get any better than Back to those keys. Can I see the hands again, please? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do thank you from the bottom of my heart for attending. I thank all you VFW members and the ladies of Philly. It has been a great year. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.